good morning and welcome back to the channel so today is monday october 14th so happy birthday to my mom i already uh, spoke with her this morning so it is also indigenous people's day and i am off from work however the work don't stop because i need to wash clothes per usual then i need to put the trash out because um that city is still going to come through and grab the trash today. So let's get that done. Oh, no, I did not. I don't know why I thought I did. That big thing crawling right there. I need to clean my door. I don't play that. It looks spiky. Is that? That looks like it's poisonous. to make me some coffee. Miss Kiri is over here collecting dust. <laughs> Look at it. I don't know what that is. I need to wipe it down. I haven't used this thing in probably six to eight months. I know it's been less than a year, but I bought it last year, Black Friday. And I used it for a little bit, and then I started making my iced coffee. I figured out that I am more of an iced coffee person than a hot coffee person. So, noodles are done. This is the chicken flavor. Sometimes I will put eggs in it or chicken or something else, but mm -mm, not today. We're just gonna eat these regular ramen. I hear my ice making, but I still don't think I have enough of coffee. Nah, we we'll just come back and have us a coffee later. Noodles and coffee is a little weird anyway, but I don't care. Good morning, everybody. So it is Tuesday morning, and I am making some breakfast. I got some pancakes going. About to make me some coffee. Avery sitting back there at the table. I um, look like she cleaning it. I don't know, but that's what we doing. And um, yeah. Gonna make some coffee. Hey, what you saying? You talking smart about me? Make them in the fry pan anymore. Look at that. Mm -hmm. They got to come off of that. upstairs to work all right y'all so listen i've been watching or like binge watching love at the lockup because i need to catch back up when the show first came out i used to watch it all the time and then i kind of fell off from watching it but i saw some advertisements for it um like some videos of it on facebook so i got that interested so i started from the first episode of season five Y'all, this show is even crazier than it used to be when it first came on. So, one thing I've been noticing about this show, and I don't know, I just, I never noticed it before, or if it's just that I'm looking at it through a different lens now. And I say that because previously I was in a relationship when I first started watching the show. So I think my mind, my thought process and things were a little bit different then. Now watching as a single woman, I'm like, hmm, I'm noticing certain things. So now I'm starting to see, it's like when the women are in these relationships with the men um, in, that are in jail, and they are, you know, sending them money and, you know, falling in love. Like, these women are really in love. So, usually when the men come out, they stay with these women. And, you know, they usually get married or whatever. Sometimes they won't get married, but usually they do. But what I find to be weird is that 
the women. So when it's a woman that's locked up and she gets a man on the outside that, you know, kind of helps her and takes care of her, sticks by her side. She is so in love with that man or pretending to be while she's incarcerated. But as soon as she gets out, like I've seen two people on this season, as soon as they got out, like the same day or the next day, they let these men go. They dumped them. But that seems to be like the trend here is that the women that are incarcerated use the men and then they get out, they get what they want and they don't stay. However, the men do stay with the women after they come out. Now, the relationships may be a little bit rocky. However, they still together. So I don't know. That was just something interesting that I'm just noticing about this show. Y'all, is wild. All I know is I don't want no personal incarcerated individual. I love my freedom and I, I I don't think I could trust somebody that has been incarcerated. Granted, people change, but just for me, my life and my kids, I just don't think I can do it. But some of these relationships, they do last. Good morning, everybody. So today is Thursday. Oh, I already opened the blinds. I was coming to make sure I take my mind. I am going to change this date. Today is the today is the seventeenth. I had to think about it. Tomorrow is the eighteenth. So let's change this. Got the date changed. So I haven't been doing much but working. And now I'm about to, oh, I'm washing clothes. Didn't really do much this week. What did we do? Nothing. Work and school. But I'll come back down and make some coffee. About to make coffee, y'all. Guys, this morning. Oh, I meant to put some chair in my cup. But yeah, I don't like that, you know, everybody tastes a little different, so I just didn't care for it. And I'm a pecan lover. I love pecans. Love pecans, but that was just not for me. So I'm just making my regular. Doesn't that look? Rump just looks just like a nice cup of Starbucks coffee. And it tastes really good. So I know I came on here a couple times and I talked about love at the lockup. So I'm finally caught up on season five, which is the most recent season. And I think every Friday they have a new episode. So I'm going to have to remember to watch it on Fridays. But so when, another thing that I noticed was that, because I know the other day I talked about, um, um, anyway, I know the other day I talked about how I noticed that when the women get out of prison, they usually dump the men that were supporting them while they were in there. However, when the men get out of prison, usually they stay with their partners. It may or may not last for a very long time, but usually the men will stay with their partners when they come out of being incarcerated. Now, whether or not they treat them well when they come out, that's open for discussion because yeah, they, they have a lot going on with those relationships. But one thing I noticed is that the women that were dating these guys while they were incarcerated normally have issues with the guy's mom once he is released. And it's kind of like the moms are always jealous. And I don't get that. I don't understand that. You don't really see that with the women that are incarcerated. When they come out, a lot of times, either their mom isn't in their life or if they do have a mom in their life, the relationship is either okay or it's just not. But with the men that are incarcerated, their moms are always like jealous of their girlfriends or their wives. 
I really just don't understand that either. What is it about the boys that make the mom so jealous when he gets a wife or a, you know, girlfriend? Mom always had problems with the women. Every last one that I've seen on there, I haven't seen one yet. And I've been watching this show for a long time. Maybe I'm overlooking or missing something. But usually the moms do not like these women that come into their son's life. So... It's a couple on there, Teeny and God, I, I forget the guy's name. I can't think of his name right now. But anyway, Teeny is in relationship with this guy. His mom got into a physical altercation with her. And while she was fighting with her, she was saying, I want my son back. Ma'am, you want your son back? Your son is a grown man. She is so jealous of his wife. Like, it is the weirdest thing to me. So, I don't know. Just another observation. But, y'all, I'm really back into this show now. So, I have added it back to my list of favorites. And, yeah, I'm excited to see how everything plays out with that relationship with the mom being so hateful and jealous of this woman. Like, it's crazy. Your son is not a man. He got to grow up and be on his own. And that's the problem with a lot of these men. The moms are interfering in their lives and their relationships and still trying to baby them. That's why they don't understand how to be men. That's why they're constantly getting in trouble and ending up incarcerated. Let these men be men. All right, y'all. I'm off. Again, this has been a slow week. So glad tomorrow is. I'm going to make a mix of because it's almost grocery day. I got some table tops and some big fries in here that I'm going to mix them up a little bit. Good morning. It is Friday. So I'm opening the blinds. Y'all, so I went out here yesterday to get tissue. Went to Walgreens. Only to get back home and realize Oh, they towing somebody's car. I'm so now this is some nosy neighbor stuff for real. Now it's possible this car is just being towed because maybe it broke down and they need to get it to the shop. However, why is it so blurry? I don't know. Y'all, this is supposed to be fall, but to me, it's cold. This winter. I know, granted, I'm in South Carolina. We don't get, um, like, really harsh winters, like snow and all that stuff. But, look, it's cold. It's cold enough for me out here. And I don't like it. And I came out here in a dress, like a um, calf limb dress and a sweater. Because I just didn't go right to the Walgreens. But it's, it's just too cold out here. Look, look at my window. I just can't. I, I can't do this. I'm ready for the summer already. Y'all, I'm back. I done went to Walgreens. Just long behind receipt. And all I bought was some soaps. I had to buy one, get one half off. So I got these three bars of the ivory soap were $5. And then I got the second one for like $2 or some change. So, so. That wasn't bad. That's why I like to go to Walgreens, y'all. They have a lot of deals on their little, um, you know, their detergent, soap, dish detergent, all that stuff. You can usually find it. Buy one, get one half off. Stop by Chick-fil-A. Then I got me a coffee at Starbucks because I did not feel like making anything. And this is my usual. It's the Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino. And I got oat milk in it. So... Got me a spicy chicken biscuit from Chick-fil-A, and I'm excited because it's so good. I'm about to go upstairs, eat, and work. Oh, I love these spicy chicken biscuits. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Where's my sauce? I don't know what I did with it. Let me see if I put it in my purse. All right, y'all, so this is everything that I bought. More oat milk, turkey sausage patties for breakfast. Got some little bites, brownies. I was about to say muffins. 
sunflower seeds, my chicken that we absolutely love, the pecan wings, checkers fries, white cream strawberry juice, got a cabbage. I wanted to do cabbage, mashed potatoes, and meatloaf. So here's the brown turkey for the meatloaf. Cabbage is our favorite veggie. So you'll see a lot of cabbage on the channel. More of these popsicles. Biscuits for breakfast time. A couple paper towels. I have some already, but just got two more. Paddle Bell mac and cheese. This is some good stuff. I put it in the oven on 400 for about an hour. It gets a little crust on top. Very good. More face wash. A lady I look at on Facebook, she is always using these little scrub mommies and she swears by it. So I'm gonna try it. I don't know. I just got it because I saw it. And then that same lady, and I do not know her name, she used this muffin mix to make pancakes. So I'm going to try that and I'll show y'all. I might do it in the morning. Drop-ins for the toilet bowls. Red velvet cookies. Avery loves these things. I have never tried them. Got me an onion, some M&M's. Cornbread mix, rice, and I hope I have more in there. If not, I, I shot weekly, but I, I like to keep at least two to three boxes of rice on hand. And then some chips. And then down here, I still have some water from earlier this week when I went out. But for drinks, I got some ginger ale, Coke, and Arizona tea. And then I also got another pack of tissue here because, like I said, my kids go through tissue like crazy. I don't know why, but they do. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff up. This order was about $150 for everything you see on this counter so i'll probably come back later if i decide to make the meatloaf and cabbage and i'll show you guys oh so i already have some mashed potatoes this is the one that i'll probably make i think i have some garlic mashed potatoes as well but i'll probably make this one today Y'all, I am in the bed, so I did not come back to show you my dinner, but I did make the cabbage, meatloaf, and mashed potatoes, and it was real good, and yeah, it's so good. It it put me in the bed. It gave me that eye so I'm about to go ahead and lay down for the night. I'm watching a movie on Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's on Prime called um, Vacation Friends. Uh... John Cena is in this movie. So it seems like it's going to be kind of funny. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.